Hello everybody, my name is Palm and welcome to welcome back to my channel. So today is finally the day we are finally watching Inconco. I'm very excited after reacting to Surface Pressure. Um, uh, we don't talk about Bruno and um, family Madri, family Madri gal, family Madri gal. I think that's how you pronounce it. We are finally here. So I said that I just just bite the bullet and just react to the movie. Um, it took me a bit because like I have to get Disney Plus. I literally got Disney Plus just for you guys. So a little special treat when I actually react to the full entire movie. I'm very excited. And also, I uh, thank you guys so much for all the support on all those music reactions, um, because you know that really helped me decide to like you know what I should just do it. I should just react to the movie. You guys seem to really like it, and I love reading all your comments and how you guys all relate to the songs and like the message of the movie. So I really like. Yeah, it's really nice to read. It's really great, honestly, to read all those really nice comments. And and now we're here. Now we watch the movie. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey, it's been a while since I've seen this intro. I don't think I've. I don't know when the last time I watched this movie. I guess Frozen. I think Frozen Two. It was unfortunately a disappointment. I was very sad. I watched that in theaters. It was not as good as Frozen One. This kind of Holds the miracle given to all families. Oh wow! Did it all come from a candle? Oh, that's cool. Was, the candle's so pretty. When my three babies, your abuelo Pedro and I, were forced to flee our home. Where are they fleeing from? Was lost. I need blessed us with a refuge in which to live. I mean, that's dope. And that's actually really cool. And Encanto. Now what does Encanto mean? I actually don't know what en Encanto. Encanto. Is, that, is it a miracle? Maybe? Paradise? Maybe? When my children came of age, the miracle blessed each with a magic gift to help us. Candle will give you your gift, mi vida. Sure about that? <laughs> I do know that Mirabelle does not have any powers. Or at least any like invisible powers. She's so cute. I love her hair too. It's so cute and curly. Whatever gift waits will be just as special as you. By the way, I will be belting. We don't talk about Bruno. now. I absolutely love that song. Oh, I I I listened to this one. This is Family Madrigal, right? This one I've already reacted to. This one's a good one. They're all really good songs, honestly. I'm really excited to hear the new ones I haven't listened to. Also, no surface surface pressure hit 100 million uh, views on YouTube, which is insane. So awesome. All of the songs are like top hits. It's crazy. I like how just bright and colorful everything is and like already like we just started but like everybody's like especially Maribel there she's so like expressive I just love how expressive and bright and like realistic everything is I don't know it just makes it like more real like you can tell like everybody has like their own like personal personality even though like I <laughs> Even though I literally just like wa I, I'm just like now watching it and just starting it, but like you can kind of tell like they took a lot of time into making this. Oh, okay. It's just remind me. Um, are like is everybody in their village? Te are they technically all related? Cause like they said that they like. This village came from magical ca candle. I'm like, I guess no, no, never mind, no, 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 because they did say in the beginning that they came with other people, so it's like, you know, their family mixed in with the other 
people who also immigrated in there with them. Never mind. I thought they were all kind of like, I thought it was like a Jonah's Ark type of thing going on for a second. <laughs> I love Louisa. But what's your gift? <laughs> yeah, what is your gift, Maribel? <laughs> She's like, let's just go through the whole entire family again and uh that's a worthy question. Oh, I love the beat, dude. It's so good. Not wow, that, that's so that's so nice. Just keep rubbing it in. I am just as special as the rest of my family. It's super relatable though, like you know, like when your family has like big expectations, right? And you are like the odd one out. Like for example, like your fam, like your rest of your siblings went to like like Ivy League schools, for example, and like you're just like no, you know what? College isn't really for me. You know what I'm saying? And then you're seen as like. A failure because of it because like you chose to like not go the route of everybody else in your family so you had to go your own path i don't know for me it's just like it, it is like kind of relatable I just want to do my part like the rest of the family first gift ceremony oh what happened to his nose emotions. oh his hands and i've been there oh Adios, Corazón, remember, yeah, remember you have nothing, you have nothing to prove, prove. <laughs> they're, they're trying to help but it does seem a little bit like pity I can understand. He's just like, eh. One hour. Oh no 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 no. Maybe the first time in a long time. On your gift. Let the rest of the family do what they do best. Okay. That's harsh, dude. Eee. That one stung. You can tell. Basically pushed her like to the side. It was like, listen, like. The people who have gifts in this family are more important. And you don't have any, so... See ya. You have nothing to worry about. You're gonna get your gift and open that door. Oh, they have her stay in the nursery room? With the other... With the other baby? I guess she didn't get her own door, so she doesn't get her own, like, room? That kind of sucks, dude. They really are like, you have no gifts, you have no worth to this family, it seems like. I love how, like, diverse everybody is. Like, everybody is, like, is absolutely, like, different. You know, they're all family, but they all, like, look different. Their hair's different, the skin color's different. It's, like, it's really cool, honestly. Yo, the music is nice. Oh my gosh. That would freak me out, honestly. Love the culture, dude. The outfits, like the decoration, music. Abuela says it's time. We'll be waiting at your door. Why are they already wearing yellow? Or why are they in particular wearing yellow? But why is it so important that, like, do they all have gifts or 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 he gets their gifts? Use our blessings. To serve this beloved community. Like, you could, like, I guess it's like, so they can help the community out, but like, I mean, I don't know. Obella's putting too much emphasis on these gifts, in my opinion. I don't think it's that important. Like, it's cool, but like, I ain't gonna die without him, like, what? The rest of the town survive without not having gifts. <gasps> Oh my god, he's so cute. Do you look at him in a little white suit? Oh, he wants to go with him. I need you. <laughs> I don't know, I would be traumatized. If I had to walk up the aisle all the way to like a magical door and didn't open, I would be traumatized. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to do that again. Especially if like, your family respecting so much out of you and then they didn't open and they're like, and they're like so disappointed. Oh no. Oh, that is traumatizing. Oh yeah, he got his. Of course they can come. 
going to talk to animals. That would freak me out. Not gonna lie, I'd be freaked out. Only animals I really like are cats, so... Oh wow, the house makes its own... Oh, that's kind of messed up, though. Like, no gift, no room. Oh wow, that's sick. Whoa. That's... Bruh, these designs are amazing. Okay, anyways, back to what I was saying. You don't get your own room, you're like, that's it, you're screwed. <laughs> you just don't get, you never get your own room, you're just stuck in the nursery room. That, that sucks. That's so lame, dude. Way to feel more like an outsider in your own family than the actual outsiders. Gift just as special as you. Eee, it's the same thing to her. Everyone That's got a sting. And they didn't even see if she was in there. They just took the picture. Hey, I'm still a part of the family, Madrigal. And I'm fine. I am totally fine. People say they're fine. I usually aren't fine. I can't take another night up in my room waiting on a it's not even her room, it's a nursery. Like I'm still at that door, longing to shine, like all of you shine. I refuse to cry. I'm sorry, I can't. Every time I cry, I get, a, I get a migraine. So, I'm going to push them back in my skull. I refuse. You can't make me. You can't make me. I refuse. The song is very beautiful and very sad, but also, like, I just can't help just looking at the art. The art's amazing. Oh. Oh. Okay, but the part where you just, like, open your eyes, open your eyes to, like, uh, Abuelo and she was just singing that song is... I see it as, like, a different, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I feel like, you know... Again, relatable. Like some, 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 some parents be you know conservative AF. So it's just like, why can't you just like look at me? You know what I'm saying? Like not look past me or look through me, but actually look at me and like listen to what I'm saying. You know, her song was that powerful. It's like. <laughs> It's destroying everything. <laughs> the tiles were falling and there were cracks everywhere. And the candle almost went out. Oh, it's back to normal. What the heck? There is nothing wrong with La Casa Madrigal. The magic is strong. Eee, that's embarrassing. I was looking out for the family. And I might not she really be is, though. She's very nice. I healed your hand with love from your daughter. <laughs> Wonderful brain, big heart, cool glasses. Mama, my baby. Her mom's trying though. Like her mom is actually like, like she's she's doing the best that she can. She can't really relate to like her daughter all too well, but she's trying her hardest to like try and comfort her. Like the only person who could relate to her is her father. But her father, like he wasn't, he was saying I feel like he was saying all the wrong things in the beginning about not like being or having powers in the family wait does abola have powers oh, if our family knew how vulnerable we truly are wait so she does believe her that's even worse she just gaslighted her in front of everybody open my eyes i mean if the house i get it here. to some extent because she doesn't want people to like worry her family like freak out so like makes sense why she wouldn't like say like oh yeah you're right because she wants doesn't want everybody else to, like freak out about it but at the same time she's still putting Mir mirabelle in like an awful position because she is seen she's seen everybody else as like a attention seeker basically or like jealous of everybody else if anyone would know what's wrong with the magic it's her Dolores hate me. He can only be worried about me and the story. And the way I talk to him. Oh, 
and the rats. <laughs> Chance you maybe know something about last night with the magic? You do. So today we will work twice. As we said definitely know something. I spoke to the Guzmans about Mariano's proposal to Isabella. He wants five babies. Huh? Such a fine young man with all huh? Isabelation of magical huh? blessings and at free huh? That's kind of weird. Tonight I want my babies like right now. Hold off, sir. Luisa, oh, wow. the river. Will so she handles all of the grunt work it looks like in the whole entire town. <gasps> it's a service pressure, service pressure is coming up right now. I know it. I know it, I remember. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. I'm as tough as the crust of the earth is. I'm not crying again in the song. It's not gonna happen. I told you. I am fighting them. I refuse. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. I love this part so good. Tip, tip, tip till you go, go, pop. Whoa. Exactly, I do. I hear this all the time. It's like you're the oldest, so you gotta do everything. It's just like, who, whose idea was that? I don't remember saying that. <laughs> I don't know, like that. I the idea is so toxic. I don't know why how people can't see that. If I could shake the crushing weight of expectation. I literally told my parents the other day. Which they're talking about too with like their family friends that like I was like I don't remember having children because <laughs> they always ask me like to you know um micromanage my little brother and I'm just like I don't have kids <laughs> like it's not my job. You know, I do the sisterly things, obviously, but, like, some some of the things are just, like, like, I'm not a parent, you know? Can't spend my whole entire life doing this. Anyways. That sucks to, like, Louisa, like, like, honestly, like, it just makes the, all these citizens who don't have powers, like, super lazy. Like, they just rely on all the people to do all the groundwork? Why? Something's wrong with the magic? Start with Bruno's tower. Find that vision. Wait, how do you find a vision? Yeah, I'm about to ask that. How do you find a vision? Such a perfect match. So perfect. And so good for the- I don't- First of all, I don't think uh, the girl, the flower girl, I don't remember what her name was. I don't think she wants to marry that guy. It, it's, it seems like she's just like, eh. Like the guy seems super like infatu infatuated with her, like, oh my god, la 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 la. And she's just like, mm, okay. I need to do this. Also, for you? What kind of room is that? Yeah. Just a waterfall of sand? But this house is actually really cool. It's actually amazing. I mean, if I had a house like that, honestly, that'd be amazing. I think I'd never leave. <laughs> I'd actually never leave my house. I don't even leave my house. To begin with, but this, if I had a house like this, I would actually never leave. Oh! What the? Ooh, look at her! Creative, innovative. <laughs> no way in hell I'd do that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> this girl's giving me a heart attack. That was his room? Dude, what kind of room is that? That's a that's a dungeon. He really slept in a place like that? Bruno was able to see the future. But why don't we talk about Bruno though? That's the real question. <laughs> My absolute favorite song so far. Oh, oh no. Girlie, you gotta you gotta quick, 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 quick. You cannot be spending the whole entire time putting those pieces together. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's her. Girlie, pick up, just get all the pieces you can and leave. Get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all. Oh, can she get out? Oh no. 
Mission successful. My gift! I'm losing my gift! Did you say to her? Nothing. She doesn't need to say anything. I'm pretty sure she knows. Stay away from Luisa until I can talk to her. Tonight, we can't have any more problems. Why is she assuming she said something? What is wrong with this grandmother? She, I'm sure she can, like, tell. She's had a gift her whole entire life. She can probably tell when her gifts are, like, not as good as before. He had a vision about someone. Don't talk about Bruno. I know. <laughs> it's coming, my favorite song. We don't talk about Bruno, no. And there was in a cloud in the sky. This is my favorite part. It's so good. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. <gasps> oh my gosh. She likes Guzman. I love how they dance with their skirts. Like, they're very expressive. Like, they dance with their whole entire body. And they dance with their all their clothes. Why I like that. I see something that his pockets. That's screwed. Yes. Then let's hope tonight is not a horrible disaster. <laughs> Do How would they say that? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just staring her down. It's like, you better not say one word. Oh my god, she's gonna spill her guts, isn't she? Oh no, it's too late. <gasps> oh wait, it is starting from her. The crack started from her. Well, they're, they're just putting it together right there. What? Oh my gosh, so much is happening right now. Oh. That went just as bad as you could expect. Oh. <laughs> you see that priest? <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I'm a loser. Why? You didn't want to marry him to begin with. That was very obvious from her face. Also, I love how, like, uh, sensitive Lu Luisa is. Like, you know, like, I mean, you know, she's like, she, even though she, like, puts on an act, though, she still was, like, not afraid to just, like, tell, at least in Maribel, like, what she was feeling and what she was, like, going through. I like that she was still able to, like, express herself, especially with service pressure. Like, she was, like, even though it was kind of just, like, it was all bubbling up and she was, like, bursting at the seams, but at least, like, it showed that, like, uh, huh? At least it shows she's able to express herself. Also, is Bruno living in the walls of the house? It's kind of creepy. Man's are just living in the walls the whole- in the house the whole entire time still. Ooh! Parkour, parkour! Do not catch me doing that ever. I- I could never. Sorry. It, it ain't gonna happen. Bruno, come save her! Come save her! Please, Bruno. Oh, she's saving you. Oh! <gasps> oh. Uh, bruh, I would- Honestly, I would do the same. <laughs> I would do the same, bruh. If I was, as I was holding Guy up and just a rat appeared, I would drop him on his- Just fear. Not on purpose, but fear. I don't <laughs> understand why you left but didn't leave. Aww. Aww. Um, my gift wasn't helping the family. <laughs> if I'm hurting my family, just tell me. Nah, your family's hurting you. But I knew how it was gonna look. I knew what everyone would think because I'm Bruno and everyone always assumes the worst. We got rid of it. To help her out. <laughs> also, it doesn't even like necessarily mean anything bad. Good luck. I 
wish I could have seen more. Yeah. Oh, but, bro, there's nothing wrong with Bruno. I mean, they cast him out because he literally just saw the future. Like, that's really what he did. The rats told me everything. Don't eat those. You know, he, he left of his own volition, but, like, still, they, like, made him leave. Because they were treating him like garbage. Because they thought, like, his just predictions were, like, evil prophecies, which is, like, so stupid. You've always been too hard on Mirabel. Must protect our family. Our encanto. So that's all you care about. That's really all you care about. People in town have become anxious about the magic. Bro, screw the people in town. Like, mind your own business. Sir. Mind your goddamn business. That's what's wrong with people in this town. They cannot mind their business. Sometimes family weirdos just get a bad rap. Always gotta hear both sides, you know? Not, 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 not everything is one-sided. Everybody's got their own story. And there is nothing wrong with Bruno. Also, this room is sick. That is the coolest room I've ever seen. Rainforest Cafe. Literally Rainforest Cafe on crack. That's his room. Over there! Butterfly! Follow the butterfly! Hey, but the future is, like, ever-changing. You can't really know. Why would embracing Isabella do anything? I don't know. Our family got a miracle. I'm assuming there's some like deep pent pent up um aggression towards her sister that is maybe like the root cause of all of this. The fate of the family, it, it's not up to her. It's up to you. You're not exactly what this family needs. So what does her reconcile so makes you think like she clearly has some ability, right? Or she has something to do with the candle? Because if reconciling with her sister is helping the candle, that means she has to be connected to the candle in some way, right? To you. Oh so my gosh. Wow. Hug. Hug That's flowers for days. It's a very pretty room. Very pretty. Love the color schemes. Okay, this is just the favoritism. Mirabel stays in a nursery. Like, literally, back to the room thing. Look at her room. It's amazing. Look at everybody else's room. Amazing. Mirabel's room, nursery. Selfish! I've been stuck being perfect my whole entire life. That was obvious by her facial expressions that, like, she was not interested in that guy. I just made something unexpected. Lisa. He's like, sorry, hold on, hold on. No, no, no I gotta sing first. <laughs> like, we'll hug after my musical number. <laughs> He's excited about a cactus. I love it. I like how it shows the other side, too, of, like, the conversation. Like, you know, I'm saying both sides to a story. It's not wine-sided. It's showing both sides. I'm so sick of pretty. I want something true. Don't. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like sometimes parents or like adults kind of can put strains on like sibling relationships because they can favor a sibling over the other because of some special gift or something like that. Which puts a strain on like your relationship because you think that they're like far up there and like unreachable and in reality they're like just as miserable as you are. Oh, she's so pretty, all colorful. Oh, I love her hair like that, actually. It's really pretty. Oh. Oh my gosh. No, Abuela is the one who's ruining the house. I will never be good enough for you. Okay. We're not doing it. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. Loves yes, this family. I love this family. Oh my god, the candle's tied for emotion. Oh, the candle's tied to her emotions. I think. 
Honestly, leave it. Leave, leave the stupid candle. 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 Oh my goodness. Well, that candle's gone, dude. No, what's the point in saving it? Should have left it. <laughs> Screw that candle, honestly. Bro, this looks so real. Wow. That is crystal clear, dude. That's crazy. Crystal clear. <laughs> I got everything just in shambles. I'm just like, wow, look at this animation. <laughs> looks so good, though. Wow. They outdid themselves with this one, honestly. It's actually not your fault. Like, even if her emotions are tied to the candle, it's literally not her fault. Everything was actually going fine. <laughs> Oh, well, you better be there to apologize on your hands and knees. I thought we would have a different life. Oh, that's sad. You're gonna make me feel bad. I mean, like I said, everybody, there's two stories to everything, right? She isn't like a villain. She isn't like a, like a technically a bad person. I think she's just stuck in her ways. She's, like I said, she's a boomer. She's stuck in her ways. Stuck in the old times. She's gotta get, you know, she's gotta adapt. That candle did save her life. I can see where she put so much evidence into it. Because it literally, like, saved her life. And her family's life. It doesn't make sense why she wants to keep it burning, right? Because she doesn't want what happened, her husband happened to her family. I refuse. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. It's 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 not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Ugh. I can finally see. Aww. That's so cute. Aww. Yeah, there's always both sides to every story. I, I mean, like, listen, I don't want to, like, negate either one's story or be, like, a centrist anti, but, like, I like that. I like that in the end that they were able to, like, understand where each other is coming from, because I feel like that's... A family is complicated, and I feel like that's the only way to really, like, I can sell with your family. At least try to. Bernito. I feel like I missed something. I don't know what's gonna happen. Is the is there no more powers? Is that just like all gone? I feel like that'd be for the best, to be honest. If they didn't have any abilities at all whatsoever. Look at this home. We need a new foundation. It may seem Dude, I love. I actually like her dress now that it's all covered and stuff. Also her hair too. Night, and no matter what happens, we're gonna find our way. Yo, I knew he never left the hurt him every day. Not she never she never said anything. You're so strong. Yeah, but sometimes I cry. So <laughs> I like how she's like a you uh what's it called? Eucaly eucalyptic plants girl now? Is that what they're called? I like that she's a cactus girl now. I love it. I just have so much love inside. Can marry her cousin. We made this one for you. Not gonna do it. I'm 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 not gonna do it. Real gift, kid. Let us in. Open your eyes. Hurry up and open the doors and stop crying. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> the house is back! Oh! Do they all have their powers back? All the doors are blank. <gasps> oh 
Oh. They do have all their powers back. <laughs> Let me find the photo now. That was cute. Oh my gosh. I... I... <laughs> Yeah, okay. I failed. <laughs> I failed my I'm not gonna cry because I will get a headache. I failed it. Okay. It's gonna suck because I was gonna I was gonna react to um Legend of Vox of Legend of Vox mocking after this, but like I literally can't. Like I'm literally crying. I love that. That was very, very good. I love that I love that too, that like one thing I was thinking about too when I was watching it is that like they didn't have to like go on some like epic adventure to some mystical land and you know like you know meet 20 different people you know what i'm saying to like get to their destination it's all happened in like their hometown in her house like, everything happened in her house like it's literally just a movie about just family and like the realistic struggles that family goes through especially uh immigrant families that go through especially the expectation being from an immigrant family and um having your parents who immigrated like i can relate because my parents immigrated here from zimbabwe so it's like that that you have some sort of expectation that you kind of have to succeed in america you know to kind of live up you know to just to like live up to that legacy you know so I really like how it, it, it's, it is relatable so much in that sense, especially when they showed Abella's story um, and all the hardships she had to go through just to get to um, this paradise, which I feel like is very coral is like a lot of correlations between um, immigrating from another country to America. Like I feel like it's pretty much telling the same story. And also that some like, you like, our parents are hard on us, right? I mean, this is like a, you know, some, some parents are a lot more harder and difficult than others. Like, but I, you, but, you know, and it's not fair what Abella was doing to her kids at all. Like, it wasn't fair at all. Like, I don't condone any of what she was doing. Um, but at the same time, I do understand what she was, like, her, where her, her, her main, like, thought process wasn't coming from somewhere bad like she was coming from a place of just still love like her thought process was just like i want i'm trying to protect my family i'm i'm this way because i want to protect you she didn't do it or say it in the correct manner at all but it was still coming from a place of love like just from a place of just like i want i'm trying to protect my family i want them to succeed i don't want this gift to go away because you know i'm afraid that you know we might get hurt again you know so and um it's very much like relatable like it's i think it's good to see like both sides of the story where like you kind of like, can see like the parents point of view of like you know like they're not doing these things or saying these things in some situations because like they hate you or whatever they're just like they're boomers <laughs> they're stuck in their ways and like you know they're coming from a totally different culture and background and even though they've, you know, my parents have been in the U.S. for a very long time, you know, there's the culture they came from is still a huge part of them, right? And I was never part of that culture, so it's like, you know, kind of like we're kind of like pushing at odds, you know, sometimes. And some parents are kind of stuck in their ways, stuck in their culture, but like, I like that here, like they kind of, um, they show that like, you know, you we should at least try to convinced to, to just open up our parents eyes or open up an, whatever adult figure we have in our lives eyes to like what they're putting us through like the hardships and like all the burden that they're putting us through, like what they're like doing or saying is just making us feel bad or like burdened you know like basically just saying like communicate <laughs> i feel like the main message is kind of just like communicate you know easier said than done it's not easy expressing your feelings and program out there as we saw with surface pressure like it's not easy like we only do it when it all boils up and said and we kind of just like blurt it all out but i really like that it's you know it show it really does um 
vocalize both sides, but also it doesn't like, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't like necessarily play both sides. It mostly plays the set of just like Maribel being considered the outcast and, you know, all the pressure that these, that the other people have with their gifts and feeling like they have to put on this sort of act and be a sort of like perfect family because that's what everybody expects them to be. That I can that I can relate to so much as well too. Like family members feeling like they're embarrassed because like oh you don't do this oh you don't do that oh this so and so has like ten degrees and has a five full time job and does this that and the other and you're still doing that that whatever and I'm just like okay <laughs> I'm like how is that helpful in any way whatsoever it's just like okay you know. So, um, I really like it. I hope that, like, parents, adults, you know, well, yeah, adults, parents who are watching this movie, maybe can also see some, like, um, can also maybe get an insight into what their kids are feeling, you know, and maybe they're able to maybe understand their kids a little bit better. And hopefully kids are able to maybe, um, use this movie as a way to hopefully be able to express their feelings more and express themselves more to their parents and hopefully release some of that pressure that they're feeling inside from all the burden of just like having to feel like they're supposed to be some certain certain way or from the burden of feeling like they're like a failure and like everybody else is like doing way better than they are which is not the case we're all going our own separate ways life is not a race life is not a race i have to remind myself all the time Life is not a race. I ain't racing to go anywhere. I'm taking my time. Go at your own pace. Go at your own speed. It doesn't matter. You do what you're comfortable with. You go at whatever pace you're comfortable with going at. You don't need to be racing with everybody else to go, you know, go get a degree or get a full-time job or, like, you know, graduate, whatever, whatever. You go at the pace you're comfortable with because... At the end of the day, like you're the only one inside of you, right? You're like you're the only, the only one living your life. So, what like what? The only opinion that should matter to you is really your own. So, anyways, I really like that movie. Really cute. Um, very much uh, real. Really makes you think, and I really enjoyed this. I'm really glad I watched it. I really hate that I cried because I hate crying, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Oops, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Um, if you like this video, uh, leave a like or subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know if I never upload a new video. Follow me and all my socials to see more of my face. And that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.